The motives behind kidnapping can be rape, torture, murder, and huge payoffs. The kidnappers find happiness and pleasure in other person's sufferings. Let us check out seven horrifying kidnap stories that will keep you awake at night. 1. She spent 41 days in a bathroom. Kendra's dad promised her that he would pick her from the school and go for shopping. After the school hours, when she walked out, she saw her grandmother on her mother's side. The 13-year-old girl didn't like her mum's parents because they always behaved strangely to her. Her grandmother told her that her father had been in an incident and she should get in right away. But her father was waiting for her in front of the school. Kendra's grandmother took her to a house and locked her. They didn't give her enough food and she kept on crying loudly for over a month. Someone informed Kendra's mother and she discovered what her parents had done to her little daughter. 2. Years of Hell 16-year-old Michelle Musgrove was abducted by two men in 1967 and taken to a house where they held her in a basement. In the beginning, she was given decent food and allowed to come out of the basement once in a while, but after some days she wasn't allowed to sleep, and they played painfully loud music with strange lyrics. Michelle lived there from March 1967 until January 1969 and was rescued. She was severely affected by the lack of sleep and became uncommunicative. 3. Barbara Mackey In 1968, Barbara Mackey was kidnapped and her kidnappers buried her in a fiberglass reinforced box. The coffin had air vents and electric light and wasn't buried very deeply. She spent more than three days in the box. Her father was a wealthy real estate magnate and paid $500,000 ransom to her rescue. 4. Stolen away on a boat Jose Garcia was kidnapped by one of his father's employees, Juan Maribel Ortega of Miami. Jose was held on a fishing vessel found floating off the coast of Florida in June of 2001. Ortega used the boy to blackmail his boss. He uses a smaller boat to go ashore and leave the boy, 11-year-old, with some food and water to survive. When the police closed in, Ortega killed himself. 5. Jackie Davis Holmes One night in July of 1979, Jackie Davis Holmes was kidnapped by three men while she was walking to her car in a parking lot. For several weeks, she was tied with ropes, and then the men, Jama, Cleon Oates and Russell Thornton, took turns raping her. She was luckily discovered by one of the dogs of a man who lived near to that isolated house. 6. Lost In 1978, a seven-year-old Avery Duckworth was kidnapped by Stanley Everett, Gomes, when his family was on vacation in Yellowstone National Park. The 48-year-old Gomes put the child into his cab and drove into a forest area. Avery escaped through a sliding rear window of the truck and ran into the woods. He wandered in the dark forest for almost four days eating pine needles and driving the little Jew from the morning leaves. Some hikers found him, and Avery reached his parents. 7. Three months of abuse A neighbour and teacher of Jessica Mullenberg took her for a trip pretending that he was taking her to a writer's conference where agents could read her work. The 38-year-old Steve Oliver tied her up when she was asleep, and when she woke up, He told her that now onwards you are Cindy Johnson, I am David Johnson, and you look sad because your mother and brother recently died in a car accident. They stayed in different hotels for more than 101 days, and he sexually abused the girl. The show America's Most Wanted aired an episode which showed Jessica's story, and a resident of the hotel identified her.